Uh, the man says no signal. It is working. Uh, I'm gonna gonna show off the games in order. I'm gonna start with Truxton. As you see it. Comes with nice card, uh, a realistic looking Mega Drive box. Transparent, rather stylish pink cartridge, but like basically a Mega Drive cartridge, and we're gonna we're gonna put that in. This has been tested. So if it doesn't work, it stopped working since last time, mysteriously. it turning on what the fuck game that's better see it works perfectly got me turned down a bit I wasn't sure There seems to be no sound on this attack mode. So we'll, uh, we'll go straight into it. Those slight sound artifacts. That's something to do with the uh, with the state of the RF with the SCART cable, I think. We do have a, a story for this. Uh, all systems are a go. Prepare for takeoff, Captain Tom. I like the fact that I'm Captain Tom. The ruthless Giddens were the first to strike, taking out various cargo ships and are now making their way to Bonago, the home planet. So we're from Bonago. They seek to take over and destroy all life. And all hope seems lost for this system. The home planets do have an ace up their sleeve. Captain Tom the bomb. Aboard the superfighter, the most advanced space fighter at their disposal, who seeks to bring down each of the Gideon, the Giddens invading asteroid bases before they reach Bonago. Oh, it's Bonago now. It changed from Bonago to Bonago. Maybe Bonago is the the uh, the hub world of the Bonago solar system. Take out all eight asteroid bases across five massive stages using three upgradable weapon styles to put an end to the Giddens invasion. Destroy each of their massive leaders, including the mighty Dogarava. <coughs> it comes with this, this neat little folder. Uh, another of these little uh, cartoon pictures of the devs in a cute style and a, a little interview with Masahiro Yuge. Uh, it comes with a very pretty trading card thingy. It's kind of uh, embossed there. A certificate of authenticity. It says collector's edition 2803 of 3500. Uh, and some stickers, some puffy stickers. I'm going to have to find something to put those on that... Uh, That will that it'll keep on. I might put them in my notebook actually. But yeah, that's what you get with Truxton. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, apparently there's a bomb that does that. Liking the liking the sound quality. So it's starting us off fairly gentle. As I said, uh, I am not good at shooting up. I enjoy them. I'm terrible at them though. I don't really practice them enough. I guess. Uh, it also doesn't help that I psychologically can't go into easy mode, and most people practice these on easy mode. I didn't really grow up with them either. <coughs> Fuck you. <laughs> One CC run, let's go. I will definitely get somewhere at a 1 CC run. But, uh, it's probably not going to be the ending. This is literally the second time I've picked up this game. Very pretty music. I think I've just said that already. I was have trouble with that bit there. Why that bit there? Yeah, this is on um, actual hardware. My original controller. That's how you do that. Uh, I'm okay. I'm, uh, I finished Mercenary's Wings and then I went off to Mercenary's Blaze. Yeah. It's not as satisfying to play as Wings. I'm not sure if I want to stream it, especially as the... Uh... Yeah, I have shiny again to stream now. This game, the SMT game that I was going to play from, Saga Frontier has just released on the uh, Twitch. I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, play a Saga game on, on stream that I've never played before. That probably won't go down particularly well either, in terms of competence. Apart from Romancing Saga 2, I'm terrible at Saga games. Look at you, you need to die in the face. 100 plus hours of free time. Saga Frontier is a... Uh, dilly dilly dee. I have six credits, apparently. Saga Frontier is longer then. <coughs> well... I am used to that with games. Uh, I've got through entirety of Trails of Hell Steel, and Trails in the Sky, and Cross Bell. Uh, depends on the tune, I think. Uh, I, I haven't... I haven't looked at it or planned it at all, so I don't know. I'll probably go with the prettiest or the most interesting backstory or the combination of the two. That's if I actually get anywhere with it. I still can't finish Romantic Saga 3. I 
don't know why, there's something... I put myself in a position where I can't do the final boss. Do everything else. Well, specifically, I can't do those four elementary bosses you're supposed to do before you do the final boss. I like everything else in the game. I really enjoyed the big business mini game. I enjoyed the other really tough bosses. I've got 50,000 points and an interesting noise. Oh, what the fuck here? Ow! The fuck was he supposed to do there? Where have you put me back to? Don't get boxed in that corner, I get it. Same to you. Oh, I'm there. Don't get worse. Overtly getting worse. Oh, yeah. Struxton. I'm just going to have a quick look through all the games first. And decide which one I actually want to play. Oh yeah, it comes with a shiny manual as well. Shiny. I think Nia remake isn't too far off, off too far away on the schedule as well. I don't want to definitely want to play that. I definitely want to stream that. It's a very nice box. Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's worth the money. If you got the money, it's uh, it's uh, you get all the stuff for, for you get four games and all the stuff in one box as well, which is kind of cool. Some Hellfire stickers. Got one of these for Hellfire as well. 
comes with the other collector's edition certificate and shiny thing. The octonomy, what's an octonomy? As a Another of these little interviews to look at. It's an interactive sci-fi fantasy novel, sold only in the UK. Interesting. What's it on? cartridge itself is oh it's blue this time Some interesting looking cartridge choices of cartridges and is it gonna work yeah it still works Still no music on the title screen. So this is what it says. Oh, Galaxy is being devoured by a dark force. The Super Mech. An actual book book. Oh, cool. Like a, a game, a game book. A fighting fantasy game book. Fighting. Cool. A thousand year peace is shattered by the Black Nebula's forces as they begin to attack the sister star system under control of the Gal... Galactic Federation. Led by the Super Mech, the Black Nebula sees the opportunity to take out the Federation's power unit, rendering their defences helpless. With all hope lost, a lone Federation ship dives headlong into the enemy. Captain Lancer pilots the CNCS-1 Sylphide. Spelt like a uh, Fee Clausel's uh, name. A uh, uh, mercenary catchphrase name thing. Utilising its hidden weapon, the Hellfire. A full pr frontal, frontal attack would be pointless, but a lone ship might be the surprise attack. The Galactic Federation needs to win. Shoot your way through six massive stages using the unique weapons aboard the Silpide. Fire your weapons using four different modes as you fight your way into the Super Mechs fleet using plasma shots, missiles and lasers. You have to put a waiting list and wait six weeks for it to be ready to be shipped. Uh. Oh fucking hell. Easy and hard. Seriously. Seriously. Oh fuck. I'll put it on easy. Uh, I don't particularly want to play a game I've never played before on hard mode. But uh, yeah, it wasn't nice of me to, to make me play on hard to make me play on easy mode and not have a normal mode. More shiny music. I really like Toyfan music. I only, I only really knew Zero Wing, and I knew that had ridiculously good music. And I could pretty much see that this was the same game. The, the others were the same game, but oh, that's how you reverse it. Cool. Oh, you can there. Uh, okay, you have to do that on a dime. Memorise which direction things are going to come at me from, I guess. 
Yeah, it's not. It's somewhat an interesting choice with the book, with the publishing. It's uh. I've not found anything else yet that you were. Uh, <coughs> Brexit has stopped you being able to get. Uh, the shipping on a lot of things is absolutely ridiculous now. And uh, some things went on hold because of Brexit, but yeah, it's the first thing I've seen that just doesn't ship. Uh, I get the impression shipping to the UK is uh, currently less of a pain than shipping out of the UK, fortunately for me. <laughs> so I know for a while uh, that was Atlas UK wouldn't ship out of the UK. I think it was Atlas that did that. Or Nisa. I'm kind of thinking of Nisa. Bastards. You are right, this is really freaking hard. Diagonal seems to be the best uh, default option. <coughs> Captain Hugo says fire a few cannons. Already on it. Yeah, it seems it seems best to have them on diagonal nicely. How you doing, DPT Gamer? I was just discussing weirdness with the uh, with the uh, shipping at the moment. Right. Apparently, there's a book that doesn't ship outside the UK, which is a bit weird. Oh, it's a pretty game over tune. Where am I again? This looks like the beginning. I already want to get this soundtrack. Lasers. Which I'm immediately going to have to change to sideways lasers. Ah! Bulls! Yeah, I do appreciate that they uh, send you back to a bow to a place that has power-ups. really annoying having to go through a bit without, pa without power-ups when you couldn't get through it in the first place.
Okay, I found that. Making uh, E's nine characters as well. The blacksmith makes a good character model for Yunfa, kind of fits her fighting style as well. I really hit really hard with a heavy weapon and very little else. <coughs> I've got the white cat as an archer. Even though she's uh, she's more suited to a thief, really. Dogie's an engineer, which don't looks and uh, <coughs> looks like him and suits him as a character class. Adol is just the default sort of dude. Got a clearly as a maid, which doesn't really work, but uh, character class wise, but it's that's who the that's who the female maid looks like. <sighs> okay, one more. I have never played a Star Fox game. Well, I might have played a bit of one at some point. Like a convention or something, and probably immediately. Probably didn't get very far in it. But I haven't played one for any extended period of time. Pretty much the only one of the, the only shooter I'm good at is Gynob. Which I may stick on actually after finish messing about with these. Just so I can actually get somewhere in an arcade shooter. But it's uh I've always called it guy now. Ow! It's like a gynecologist. Because the uh, art style is kind of uh suggestive. Anarchy. Put it that way. <coughs> what someone gave? Told that told the same people who made Joe Anarchy that they could make a horror game. I think it's the 
be 75% less surreal and uh, I'd say about 25% more creepy. But then I push all the knowledge out of my head. And now I've probably forgotten how to play going up. Still having issues with Mother Mass with, with Mother Mass, by the way. Am I uh yeah. Try to do something intensive on a V2 and start to do my head in a bit as well. It's a bit of a small screen and control scheme. I will quickly finish off uh, Mercenary's Blaze, possibly on stream, I'm not sure if I want to stream it. And then uh, start playing uh, start playing Frontier, it's like a Frontier. Again, I don't know if I want to stream that either. And yeah, just see how far I get, really. <coughs> Got some more Shin Megami Tensei to play now as well. Always good to have more Shin Megami Tensei. When number three comes out, the remaster of number three comes out, I'll definitely stream that. Okay, the third one in the box is Fire Shark. Again, pretty. I do like the ridiculous Biggles picture. Enemy forces are attacking. Communication lines are cut. Military bases lay in ruins. Everything seems lost when it from out of the smoky haze flies out a phantom biplane, the fire shark. You are the fire shark. At your controls are the awesome powers of missiles, rapid fire machine guns, devastating bombs and formidable lasers. We have a laser biplane. 
Only you, your skill can safeguard the destiny of millions. Defeat the enemy forces and accept your place of honour. Fall and the world is lost. Play through ten ac action packed stages as you bring down enemy tanks, plane ships and massive enemy structures. Strafe squadrons with your wide shot, slice three bombers with your shark beam. Burn down battalions with your super fire weapon or lay waste with your bombs. So, no actual story to that one. No, no idea who's attacking who, for what reason. Uh, we'll, 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 I'll decide on the story. This one's yellow. Are they all going to be different colours? The transparent plastic Mega Drive. <laughs> transparent brightly coloured Mega Drive cartridge. That's pretty cool looking. Again, some stickers. Shiny manual and one of these. An interview with someone. Again, they don't seem to believe in intro music. Okay, this one has e easy, normal and hard, so I can stick it on normal. I shall put slightly more players and rapid fire on though. Again, with absolutely rocking music straight away. Oh, I three way shot straight away, do I? Oh! I guess it's accidentally shot a power up. Note to self, you can see the power ups in this one. Nice, satisfying sound effects. Okay. 
died slightly more dramatically looking then. That was cool. I'm bad at this. I hope we get one. Mm. One last. Over tune, but uh, kind of catchy get continued theme is interesting. I see a space harrier. Space harrier is another one I can actually play, sort of. I can at least see the end of it. Take a lot of swearing and get it. It has the weird thing of absolutely awesome get it uh, absolutely awesome continue theme and kind of half ass game over tune, which doesn't exist in most of the versions. Oh, it's about 
a retro bit. I think retro bit was something to do with my uh, that random pink satin controller that I got one year. And lastly, Zero Wing, which is the, the one I actually vaguely know. It has the pretty, prettiest artwork. And the actual, yeah, this uh, cardboard slip. Uh, not so much on the box, but that was the original box. You have no chance to survive, you'll make your time. In 2101, the Milky Way Federation made peace with the space pirates led by the cyborg cats as they looked to expand further into the, gal the galaxy with strategic defence bases. Barely a few years passed before the space pirates are back again with cats breaking his word and simultaneously attacking the bases before they had a chance to defend themselves. This is not the, the story that I remember from the original box. Aboard the 1011 Star Cruiser, a bomb explodes and rips through the Federation's flagship, destroying the mothership and all the ships on board. All but one. The last Zig space fighter is able to take off before the ship completely explodes. Take control of the avenging Zig space fighter across eight stages using three different weapon types and your trusty tractor beam to fling objects back to the enemy. Take out each of the the enemy's commanders, including the flamboyant cats, reclaim all your bases and experience over 30 different endings. <laughs> I, I, ooh, purple! Got the best box as well. Got the best cartridge. Cats from Zero Wing is indeed flamboyant looking and I've always thought it was really pretty. In AD 2101. War is beginning. What happened? Oh, they kept it! They kept it! Somebody set up us a bomb! But yeah, this is a very meme word. Became a massive meme. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you! How are you, gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. You're on your way to destruction. What do you say? You have no chance to survive, make your time. <laughs> Cats from Zero Wing was one of the first level bosses I developed a massive crush on as well. Look at him, look at his hair, look at his cybernetic implants, look at his magnificent purple robes. Flashing red eyes and his useful face. Yeah, we have the uh... This is number 3161 3500 apparently It's going to do that weird thing where it doesn't have music uh, Put the options on Please let me go fix like normal I, I just want Something else came with it, that's cool Signed 
thingy. Card thingy. And this incredibly large pin badge. I'm not sure what I'm going to put this on that it won't immediately fall off. But it sure is a thing. I guess I'm going to have to actually get an actual uh, cloak like cats is so that I can put that on it and then I can cosplay as cats Hugo didn't like the idea apparently Hugo just jumped off the bed and walked off in a huff Anywhere. Put these away again. a bit. I think that might be my settings. Natals! Please stop flickering. It's annoying me. It's on my nerves. Meow 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 meow. Please don't. Please don't keep flickering, you dumbass. That has not made it better. Oh no. Seat the cart there. And I forgot to change the options back. <sighs> and is doing it immediately again. Giga inspired four games. Guy Knock takes it up to 11, which is hilarious. Did actually scare me as a kid though. And to me, a lot of the bosses look like things that are faulty. 
like I looked like our officer was missing or something. Mechanical monstrosity thing sort of attacks you, it's uh, because it's missing its armored shell. But it's clearly wrong, it's uh, clearly going to be in pain if it just keeps itself like that. No one psychology. Uh, I see you there. Like that thing. Where's the rest of it? It's missing the rest of it. It's clearly something's neck. Possibly other people would see a phallus. Yeah. want to know where the rest of it is. after the minibus and I do remember that sometimes skips the minibus. I don't know why it does that. I do know you're supposed to uh, kind of focus on one power up and that the green one is usually the best one although sometimes I get on better with the blue depending on my mood how my eyesight's fucking up today uh, there's the end boss we did uh, We did skip them. Yeah. We're actually supposed to. Hey, that's a pretty game over tune. Oddly cheerful. Continue, tune. And I really one day remember that that exists. 
and what it does. And will you please stop flickering? During a boss battle, I will lick you. Did you just do it because I threatened to lick you? You've not stopped flickering, but you let me get past the boss. I do have one snob one. There's a, a physical cartridge somewhere. I think that's your speciality game, isn't it? Amazing. I can get through it. I wouldn't say it was a particular speciality. Well, fuck you. Stop flickering. Now you've lost it. You're doing the... I've done badly at something so I must steadily get worse thing again. Because my brain is a piece of shit. Hell dude, you're on your way to getting licked. Stop flickering.
I think it's a problem with the Mega Drive because uh, I think maybe the last one I did was flickering as well. Slightly. Let me see what have we got here. We've got. Scott cable goes into the Scott HDMI thing. Hello, TC Hatchet. Uh, just had a bit of a go with each game. Uh, I'm now trying to get them to stop flickering by threatening them. I've been showing off some shiny things that came with them. Like this. And this. Yeah, everyone comes with it. And a load of, like, a load of those little interview things, like certification things, and stickers. So that's kind of cool. Did you remember my options from last time? No, you didn't. Uh, they've got sound tests. Which means I'll probably stick it in Sega Nomad at some point and just list have it on the bed. Admiring how pretty the music is in this in all of the games, so I'm gonna go. Have another quick game of this and then probably another quick game of Fire Shark, because the, the one I like the most. The, the other one that I like the most. list of about five or six things I'm trying to do. About five or six games I'm trying to give some attention to at once though, so I don't know how successful I'll be at the moment. You. You. Bing, 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 bing,
right. Do not pick up Red Thing. Red Thing is downgrade. He's uh, I don't know why he's scared of me yelling suddenly. against things that unnerve me. Yes. But seriously, where's the rest of it? Ah! I didn't say you could get worse. every single time. And, and then you suddenly get worse. You... <sighs> I wish I knew why I did that. Also check this out, the cartridge is purple and transparent. So shiny. Trying to get it carefully back in its case and get put the other stuff in. And play slightly more Fire Shark because I really like that one as well. It's yellow and transparent and shiny.
part of tank in your little dance in the background. This one has the nicest music out of the four. I mean, Zero Wing has cats, so. It's automatically the best game. Oh. 
Okay, you do get sl slightly further than there. Origin on nightmare modes, which I can do. Hell, I don't even have to do it several hundred times over like I wasn't doing with Beast Origin. for that. Wide shots of the helices of doom.
like now my brain's waking up properly when I start physically swerving to avoid things. Oh, have you been playing? You've been playing Ring Fit all day. You, you do not avoid things by physically swerving. You avoid things by doing squats. The same way as you hit things, you activate everything. Basically, if you don't do it by... If you don't cause it to happen by doing the squat, you cause it to happen by... Rotating the ring, the ring come 90 degrees and shove it into your chest, basically. I like games with simple controls. And imagine you're frisk and you're flirting with it. Got eight credits left. More than enough to flirt with the town. You're frisk and due to an accident involving Sam's uh, in the world of of uh, Pansy Mabel. So we'll split with all the tanks. Depends what you get hit by, but yes it does. There's quite a lot of the uh, quite a lot of the projectiles. Oh. 
anything done in this without rapid fire. Establish that the tour plan thing collection is pretty cool and everything works in it. Advanced technology for a biplane, all these, these lasers and psionic blast weapons and the, the uh, double helix things. Yeah, I'm um, not sure quite what I want to stream going forwards. Uh, I was discussing this, maybe mercenary uh, blaze uh, maybe 
start and play some of this on stream. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner. Radio Kanazero versus the Soulless Army. I have seen the second one, Let's Play, but I have I know very little about the first one, other than the, like, the vague story. So, uh, yeah, there's also possibly Saga Frontier. That, that one came out soon. It, that one came out recently. Uh, yeah, there's a few choices. Uh, what? I don't know what people would recommend. Do you have any preferences? Put it on a pole or something on Twitter and Facebook or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to finish for now anyway. I will see you next time. Uh, I think I've got a game tomorrow, but. After that, I'll be free again. Good night.